It's been over two years since an influx of COVID cases started filling hospitals. Now another respiratory illness, RSV, is doing the same. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. Hasbro Children's Hospital says they're currently at 115% capacity. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with local health experts about what's causing this surge and has the important information parents need to know. I spoke with Dr. Lula today from Hasbro Children's Hospital, and he says while mitigation efforts were made during the pandemic to keep people safe, we're now seeing those effects in RSV. Medical institutions like Hasbro Children's Hospital are being overwhelmed with patients experiencing acute respiratory distress, which can be caused from RSV. For the last couple of weeks, uh, Hasbro Children's and most other children's hospitals in the country have been operating somewhere between 115 to 125 percent capacity. According to Dr. Rishi Lula, RSV is a respiratory virus that's common in children, causing common cold-like symptoms, things like a runny nose, a cough, or even a fever. And although RSV is extremely common, according to Dr. Lula, he says mitigation measures like masking and distancing during COVID played a big role in why we're seeing it filling our hospitals. While at the time that was extremely critical for us to save lives during the peaks of the COVID-19 pandemic, it also resulted in our children and young people being exposed to less viruses that they would have normally been exposed to, resulting in increased immunity. But Dr. Lula says for infants or young children, especially those with chronic illnesses, it can be more severe. Lula says with hospitals overrun across the country, take your child to their pediatrician first. Going on to say if you see the following symptoms, that's the time to take them to the hospital. Kids are coughing more than you would expect. They're starting to do something called head bobbing where they're sort of working really hard to breathe. If you can see uh, sort of the muscles of their neck or their ribs that are coming out as they're breathing, that gives you a sense that kids are breathing harder than they should be. Lula says while the healthcare system in Rhode Island is overwhelmed, hospitals here are continuing to do all that they can to serve and protect our communities. We are remaining prepared. We're doing everything that we can to support our patients and support our community and make sure that when those cases go up, we have the resources that we need to, to care for the patients of our community. Health experts are reminding people the importance of hand health as well as staying home when you're sick to help avoid illnesses like RSV, COVID and the flu. Reporting in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.